Hi, I'm Wolfgang Sowinka. I'm a pediatric urologist at Georgia Urology. The following video will show a typical patient encounter utilizing telemedicine. Symptoms of a kidney stone and proper evaluation will be demonstrated. The imaging studies of the kidney stone will be presented and treatment options discussed. Hello, I'm Wolfgang Sowinka. I'm a pediatric urologist at Georgia Urology. Thanks for joining us via telemedicine. I hear that you have an 11-year-old son who may have a kidney stone. Can you tell me about your son's problems? Yes, he's been having a lot of pain in the abdominal area on his left side. And when did it start? It started about a month ago, but it's been on and off for about a month. And I saw that you had to take him to the emergency department at Children's? Yes, we took him to Children's ER. And why did you take him? Because he was throwing up and he was just in a lot of pain. And um, did they give you any medication there? Um, yeah, something for the vomiting and uh, I can't remember the other two. Okay. And Alex, did you see any blood in your urine? Yes, but only once. And how is the pain now? It helped because of the medicine. Okay. Um, so I also have seen imaging studies that were done in Children's Healthcare. A, an X-ray and an ultrasound was done and I would like to discuss the findings with you. Okay. The ultrasound images show a normal right kidney and a dilated collecting system on the left side. These are the darker areas inside the kidney, it's called hydronephrosis, and that indicates a potential blockage due to a kidney stone. The x-ray shows a 10 millimeter stone at the very end of the left ureter. That is very unlikely to pass on its own. Since your son's stone is relatively large, he's unlikely to pass the stone spontaneously. It is well seen on x-rays and therefore I recommend a procedure called extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy or as well. It is a minimal invasive procedure that is being performed under general anesthesia. It is an outpatient procedure. The shock waves are meant to break up stones into small fragments that eventually will pass. He will get a medication, Flomax or Tamsulosin, that will make it easier for those fragments to pass. He will have some pain and some blood in his urine for about 48 hours after the procedure. He will receive a strainer where he can capture stone fragments that can be submitted for stone analysis. Eventually, we also will obtain two 24-hour urine analyses to further elucidate risk factors why he produced that kidney stone. This image shows the principle of extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy. In the lithotriptor or shockwave machine, Shock waves are being generated and they are focused on the stone by using X-ray technology and the shock waves are meant to break up the stone in fragments, fragments small enough to pass spontaneously. Do you have questions? Yes. Is it an outpatient procedure or will he have to stay in the hospital for a while? It is while? an outpatient procedure and he will go home after the procedure. What kind of recovery time does he have and will he have to stay out of school for a long time? I would expect that there will be some pain and also some blood in the urine for about 48 hours after the procedure and as soon as the pain is minimal he should be able to return to school. What kind of complications are we looking at? Complications are very uncommon with a minimal invasive procedure. Most commonly infections of the urinary system and to prevent that, he will receive antibiotics before the actual procedure. Our scheduler will reach out to you to schedule the procedure. Thank you for your telemedicine visit. If your child was diagnosed with a kidney stone or was suspected to have a kidney stone, please call us at Georgia Pediatric Urology. Thank you.